call this meeting of the North Adams City Council to order for May 9th, 2023. This meeting is being recorded. Will the clerk please take the roll? Black Mayor? Here. Fabio? Bona? Here. Harpin? Here. Abbasahan? Here. Aleskowitz? Here. Sapienza? Here. Shade? Here. Wilkinson? Here. Eight present, we have a quorum. Please rise for a moment of silence. Please remember Robert Moulton Jr., a city councilor, school committee member, and longtime president of the North Adams Ambulance. And the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, approval of the minutes of April 18th, 2023 special meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Hearing of visitors, this is an opportunity for the public to speak to the council for two minutes regarding issues that are listed on the agenda. Anyone wish to approach? Name and address for the record. And please speak into the mic, everyone. It's for the viewers at home, not for us in here. Uh, Robert Cardamino, 170. Three Swinsey Street. Uh, I'd like to address uh, 12, 21, no, 12, 26 dash 1, the setting of poles. I don't know if this council is uh, aware of this ordinance of streets and sidewalks, but it's very comprehensive. And if you're not familiar with it, then I suggest that you postpone this polls until you find out what's in this ordinance because there's fees to be had by uh, the um, Tim Mori, uh, Tim uh, Lascarbo for inspection, inspecting the polls before and after and also they have to put up a bond of 100,000 and 300,000. And there's also a provision in here that says the removal of old poles. And if you're not familiar with this, I suggest you postpone this till the next meeting until you review this ordinance. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next. My name is Josh Valliers. I live at 23 Lyman Street. I'm speaking on Council Paper 12248, specifically about the recommendation to change the times the City Council holds these meetings. While I personally have to side with the uh, previous recommendations from Councillor Wilkinson of holding, this, uh, holding the meetings at 6.30, I do feel like 7 mm -hmm. o'clock is a fair compromise. Um, it's a step in the right direction. I feel like this will be a much more accessible time for c uh, constituents, um, which you know has the potential to lead to more participation from us in the audience. Um, I feel as, I feel as though these changes, the, you know, the updates that are being proposed are warranted. Uh, just because something has been done procedurally for all this time doesn't mean that our ordinance should ordinances shouldn't be updated to reflect what should be an official procedure. I look forward to seeing how you proceed on this. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, let's head into the meeting. Council paper 12,018. Mayor's communication number 10 requesting review of the ordinance by the public of the taxi ordinance by the public safety committee. Um, do we have an update from public safety? Uh, yes, so far uh, we met on uh, Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday night and we 
we have gone over uh, the uh, rules or the uh, chapter 23, article one, taxi cabs. And uh, we also were waiting for uh, Lieutenant Beverly to come up with a uh, revision for section 23-14, uh, which is the qualifications for a uh, taxi driver's license. The previous statement was kind of muddled and we we're gonna um, put it out in bullet points so that it's much clearer and much easier to understand. We're also gonna do that for the requirements for an operator's license. We're also gonna make a differentiation in the ordinance which was kind of muddied by the language of the ordinance, the difference between a taxi driver's license and a taxi operator's license, which was a point of confusion in that uh, respect. It is an ongoing uh, process. We are still working. We came up with several more uh, uh, suggestions to work on this over the course of the meeting. And uh, so at this point, I would like to make a motion to postpone this to the uh, second meeting of June. Second. second. Thank you, Stephanie. Just one for Shirley. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Council paper 12,248. An ordinance amending chapter two, section two dash one entitled council meetings regarding meeting cancellations and filing with the city clerk. Council Wilkinson. The general government committee did meet on this. Um, we came up with um, what we thought was a final product, uh, the entire uh, general government was uh, in favor. However, it has been brought to my attention tonight that there may be some other um, council fans that say mucky, <laughs> mucky language that need, may be, need to be cleaned up as well as a possible violation of an open meeting law. So we can't have that. So I, I suggest that we put, send this back to general government just to clean up the wording and uh, bring it back to council on the uh, first meeting in June. Second. Okay, Councilor Wilkinson and Councilor Sherry second. Any discussion? I just wanna clarify the reference to violation of open meeting law. The way our ordinance was written, it said 24 hours, which obviously we can't afford to go and change everything that changes because at the end of our ordinances, it says unless this is superseded by state law, which it is, but if we're gonna clean up the language, we might as well clean up the language there. We wanna we want do it right. We wanna make sure we get that right. So we wouldn't leave it at 24 hours, but we already have to publish. So um, any, no discussion? Motion to postpone? So moved. Second. Well, and yeah, Doug, Council Wilkinson made it. Councilor Shade seconded it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? On. Council paper 12,256, an order, order granting National Grid permission to erect and maintain poles and wires on Massachusetts Avenue. A motion to adopt the order would be in order. Motion to adopt. Second. Discussion? Uh, let's do this as a roll call. This Oh, did you want discussion? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Discussion? And, and Babby is no longer part of this council. I thought Babby was part of it. Oh, Bab Barbara. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, quick question through the chair if I could. Um, Mayor, just to, uh, about the, what we just heard, are, are fees being paid like they should or are they not necessary? Um, this poll in particular is relevant to a city project. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know if there is a charge for that, but if we're responsible for collecting a fee, I'm sure they are. Um, and the second part about the insurance, we always get an update from National Grid on their insurance policy, naming us a certificate, um, additionally insured, a certificate of insurance, naming us additionally insured. So we're there, this poll is moving because it is, like you say, at the city's request, correct? Yes, yeah. it, this poll relocation is part of the storm water um, improvement project on Mass Avenue, and we've had to realign a gas line, which meant we had to move a pole, and it's been a, a complicated process down there, but it'll be for the best in that, in that area to help with all the water sitting on the road. Thank you. 
And, and for clarification, we're voting on this particular poll. We don't, you know, if somebody has, I know people have concerns about other areas of the city. We're, this order is to vote on this poll mm -hmm. at the request of the mayor yep. and the project being done. So I just want to clarify that for everybody in the room and everyone at home. So we have a motion, a second. Anyone else? Okay, now roll call. Maribel. Bono? Here. Are you <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I didn't hear I'm you. glad to know I'm not the Present. only one who had a long day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obasahan? Yes. Alaskowitz? Yes. Sapienza? Yes. Shade? Yes. Wilkinson? Yes. Blackney? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. Council paper 12,263, mayor's communication number 50, recommending the appointment of Fer Ferris Mixick to serve as a member of the Youth Commission. Point of order. Point of order. Did I miss a paper? Yes. 12,261, yeah. Oh, I found it. Actually, a couple of them stuck together. Okay, sorry, pages stuck together. Council paper 12,261, an order approving the authorization to execute grant assurances from the Aeronautical Division of the Massachusetts Department of Transportation on behalf of the City of North Adams. Uh, move to adopt the order, would be in order. Motion to adopt, second. Councilor Sapienza, Councilor Aleskowitz. Any discussion? I have a report. Oh yeah, your report, sorry. Um, I apologize, you got two papers tonight. I mess emailed one over to the, the uh, city clerk. I did make some typo corrections, nothing of substance, just small, minor uh, typo errors. Also, I just want to note in the uh, first paragraph where it says the planning board meeting starting at 7 p.m., um, it actually starts at 6.30 p.m. So 6 that, p.m. Th that's one, what's that? Six. Or 6 p.m., sorry, six. Um, but beyond that, um, Pretty detailed here, we met for about a half hour. The mayor had uh, several of our staff members present and um, uh, Mr. Gilman was there um, who brought up a number of questions at the last meeting. Um, long story short, um, we were, questions were brought up about um, you know making sure that we're following grant assurances uh, and uh, Ms. Eid um, and the mayor both said that you know everything is being done that's need to be done there has not been anything that has come from the state or federal saying uh, otherwise and um, at the end of the meeting uh, you know uh, mr. Gilman did have questions about how the revolving fund was being um, handled and then when it explained and shown spreadsheets of how it's being done now which has changed uh, considerably since last July he was uh, very satisfied with how this will be moving forward. So, um, and uh, we didn't vote on a recommendation, but we have both members here that were there last night, um, and I think we were both satisfied with what we were, what we heard, uh, and and given for, you know, information uh, that the grant assurances are um, have been taken care of that need to be done. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to concur with Councillor Bona that uh, I did, in, in fact, agree that uh, this uh, I would uh, go along with this uh, the grant assurances from the meeting last night. Anyone else? Councillor Shade. Yes, um, through the chair to the mayor, I just have one quick question. Um, under Section C, Section One, it says that the um, that this the effects of this shall be uh, remain for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And under section E, section one, it talks about um, any powers that may be granted to the city council of North Adams, the city agrees not to attempt to reorganize the airport commission or in any way interfere with autonomy. I don't think there's any issue with autonomy or authority, but when they say reorganize, is that going to interfere with our ability to appoint new people? No, what we asked for clarification on that and what that meant was to like 
take them out of the communication stream. It means that we always have to have an airport commission um, consisting of the five members. The dynamic of that five members is up to us, um, but as long as we meet what our ordinance says and what the requirement for an established airport commission, um, they are satisfied with that. So if we wanted to expand the commission, is that also not allowed, or we would need permission from them first we to do that? We would, any change that we make for in the airport commission, whether it be a committee member or whether it be the dynamic, whether it be all North Ham's residents or residents from surrounding communities, we always let them know to see what our makeup would be. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Councilor Bach. Yeah, uh, uh, through the chair. Uh, to Councilor Shea, just let you know, we actually, Miss Eid specifically mentioned your concern last night and did, um, did discuss that. Uh, and you did say um, it's sort of, um, how did she put it? I think I put it in here, but it, it's, uh, it's just general legal verbiage that gets put in most of these kind of uh, applications or boilerplate. Is it boilerplate. She did say boilerplate. Yes. So, uh, thank you, Councilor Shade. May I respond? Sure. <laughs> um, I, I only asked because when I read the the notes, I did read the meeting minutes. Thank you for having them. It was talking about dissolving. Um, and it specifically said to dissolve in the meeting minutes, which wasn't my concern. My concern was more about making changes to how the commission operates. So I didn't see that. Thank you. Being passed, but thank you. Anyone else? Roll call. And will we have to sign something after this tonight? Yeah, so the council president will need to sign the document that's in the packet. I just have to sign it? Yep. Just me? It, okay. It, I believe it reads um, chair of city council, which would be, okay. I should say president and, of city and council. And that the city clerk also will then have to yeah. submit minutes. Yep, so yeah. um, in the document it outlines that when the minutes are ready, we'll attach those minutes from this meeting if you approve <coughs> it. And that will be part of the grant agreement. So just question, do so they have to be approved well, minutes or just draft minutes? Um, I would say approved minutes. Just so they would go out the next after the next meeting? Yep. Okay. Yep. So what we'll do now with your signature and the paperwork, we'll send the draft minutes when they're available, and then we'll send the certified approved minutes next so we can keep the process going. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Clarbo? Bona. Here. <laughs> oh, did it again. <laughs> Every time I hear Barbo, it's throwing me off. Um, uh, yes. Yes. Obasahan. Yes. Alessiewicz. Yes. Sapienza. Yes. Shade. Yes. Wilkinson. Yes. Blackman. Yes. Eight yeas, motion carries. Thank you. <coughs> It okay. Is. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Council paper 12263, Mayor's Communication Number 50, recommending the appointment of Ferris Mixick to serve as a member of the Youth Commission for a term to expire on May 9, 2026. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Councilor Leskowitz, Councilor Shade. All in, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Council Paper 12264, Mayor's Communication Number 51, recommending the appointment of Dan Weisbro to the North Adams Public Arts Commission for a term to expire May 1st, 2028. Motion to approve. Second. Councilor Basahan, Councilor Shade. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Council Paper 12265. Mayor's communication number 52, recommending the appointment of Nina Keneally to the North Adams Public Arts Commission, filling the unexpired term of Susan Larson King for a term to expire May 1st, 2027. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Councilor Leskowitz and Councilor Sapienza. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Council paper, Mayor's. Council Paper 12266, Mayor's Communication Number 53, 
recommending the reappointment of Jesse V. Egan Poirier to the Redevelopment Authority for a term to expire June 1, 2028. Motion to approve. Second. Councillor Abbasahan, Councillor Shea. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Council paper 12,267, Mayor's Communication Number 54, to transfer $2,000 from the Tinker Fund to the Public Services Cemetery Repairs and Maintenance Account. Motion to adapt. Can I Motion just to say, actually, without objection, Mayor, order. did you want to talk about this or do we just want to? Um, the yeah. only the only comment that I really have, this is just um, from what I understand, standard practice when the Hillside Reservation Restoration Group needs money. Um, we do this to replenish their supplies so they continue to do the great work that they do over at Hillside. I will add that we are looking for new members to join that group. Um, so if anyone knows anyone, that would be great. Thank you. So without objection, I'll file the mayor's communication. Council paper 12,267, an order to transfer $2,000 from the Tinker Fund to the Public Services Cemetery Repairs and Maintenance Account. Uh, motion to adopt would be in order. Motion to adopt. Second. Councilor Sapienza, Councilor Aluskowitz. Any discussion? Councilor Wilkinson and then Councilor Shave. Through the Chair to the Mayor. Um, I know this is kind of standard. We do this all the time, it's transferring money from the Tinker Fund. What's the, what's the remaining balance in the Tinker Fund? Around 52, but I can 52, get that 000? clarification for you. No, so th there's enough to be able to oh. periodically. Now, does this, are we getting? I wouldn't put an account in the red, Counselor. I know, I know that. Now, does this account generate interest, and is it more interest than two thousand dollars? More year? interest? No, we're not earning two thousand dollars annual. I wish we were. I know. So we're slowly depleting. Yes. Account. Okay, yes. that's all I need to know. Counselor Shave. My question was asked. Okay, and answered apparently. Yes. <laughs> Any, Councillor Bona? Yep. Uh, Mr. Marino uh, did stop in and he just wanted me to uh, pass along that um, specifically none of this is for any big equipment. Um, it's cleaning supplies. It's for some maintenance of some qui equipment they have. Um, and again, it's nothing, um, it's, it's really just to upgrade and maintain the equipment that they have. There's no big expenses in this particular piece. Thank you. Anyone else? Roll call. Bona? Yes. Harpin? Yes. Abbasahan? Yes. Alaska? Yes. Sapienza? Yes. Shave? Yes. Wilkinson? Yes. Blackner. Yes. Nine yeas, motion carries. Council paper 12,268, mayor's communication numbers 55, recommending the appropriation of funds in the amount of $1,953,766 from certified free cash to the stabilization account, as well as miscellaneous deficit accounts. Without objection, I will file the communication, mayor. Thank you, President Blackmer. Um, so as we closed out fiscal year 22, um, which was probably um, my first six months in office, if I do the term, I wanted to focus on cleaning up, for lack of a better term, some of um, the accounting, er not errors, but accounting deficiencies we've had in the past. Um, so if I could just take the liberty to go through and provide an, an explanation. So. First of all, when we certify free cash, we look at how our revenue and expenses performed through fiscal year 22. So at the end of the day, um, we had really performed well. So one of the things we looked at when we got into office, when I got into office was where we were with our revenue and what areas we needed to improve on, where we were with our expenses, and how we could kind of pull in our, our spending so that when we got free cash certified, we could clean up some of the deficit accounts that were left. Um, so in the first one, the airport grant, that was created around the administration building. So back in the day, and I don't know what administration, there was a pledge of a $200,000 grant 
a, a pledge of a $200,000 donation that didn't come in. The city continued to spend. The pledge didn't come in. We're hopeful that at some point it may come in, but at this point we want to clear that account so we can start with a fresh slate as we move forward. So that is for the 200000 The skating rink over the years has always run in a deficit, and we've never really budgeted and accounted for that. As we move forward in fiscal year 23, when we created the budget and looked at setting ice time, et cetera, fees, and really selling all the ice we can, we are hoping that we will be in the black this year, which will be the first time in, in a very long time. So again, that's not just two years, that's not just four years, that's several years of, of running in a deficit to clean that account so we're working at a fresh slate. The 911 grant breaks my heart because um, one of my responsibilities when I worked for the city was to be responsible for that grant. Somewhere on along the line, administrations, past administrations, stopped budgeting for dispatchers. So if you remember during fiscal year 23 budget prep, we added a line for dispatch salary. So traditionally over the years, we have deficit spent the grant. So we get X number of dollars for the grant, but our salaries are higher than the grant. So that should come out of somewhere in the budget. That wasn't done before fiscal year 23. And it's a significant number. So that's many, many years of deficit spending the grant. Um, those areas are areas of concern because every year it comes off our free cash. It comes off our free cash. So in a year that we performed well, I felt it was appropriate to clean up our, our deficits and move forward. So we're going to start with a fresh slate. We have the ability to do that. Um, going to sale of cemetery lots, Councillor Harpin brought to my attention that years past we took money out of that account for various expenses. We do have the ability to replenish that. You would ask me if I had the opportunity to do that, so that's what we're doing tonight. Thank you. As well as um, last year when I came to you and said I'd like to hire a second person on IT, you were kind enough to allow me to use the municipal tech fund. So we, again, are able to replenish that fund, put that money back into our savings account, so to say. Um, and then at the end of the day, still um, increase stabilization by 984000 So we performed very well in fiscal year 23. But I have to say, um, in my basketball analogy, it was truly a full court press to really start pushing on collections, to really start pushing on revenue, and, and trying to manage our expenses. So overall, we closed the year in the black, which you want to do, with some money on hand, and we were able to clean up some of our, our books. Um, so while you look at it and you think it's a windfall, it is in the sense that we're adding $984,000 back to stabilization, as well as cleaning up some things that we were getting dinged from off our free cash. So in essence, when you look at the balance sheet, it's a win for us of $1.9 Thank you. I have a question. I know you're going to get into the budget at the next meeting, but um, have you budgeted, like the municipal tech fund, have you budgeted this time for yes, yes. for the amount that's actually in yes. there? Okay. I just wanted to, <laughs> hopefully we were going to go forward with yeah. the stuff. And depending Council on where all the numbers lie, we may say, okay, we're putting the money back, but we're going to take some money out. It, it depends on where we, we, where we fall. But I committed to the council if we had the opportunity to put back that money, I wanted to do that. Absolutely. No, I agree. And cleaning up, I mean, I knew about the airport grant. I'd heard about it for years. And I guess it was just everybody wishing and hoping that that person would step up and make their donation. Apparently not. So, Councilor Harpin. Um, through the chair to the mayor. So, thank you, Mayor. That was a great explanation. Um, I, I was wondering, I could kind of figure out a few things, but it, it was a good explanation. So thank you for that. And I appreciate you um, putting put the money back into the cemetery where it belongs. So um, that's wonderful. S um, so it looks like we're going to have about a million dollars put back into our reserves, um, right? Mm -hmm. So talking about reserves, do, we, do you know what the actual balance is once we add this in? Well, we're at that one point. I think yeah somehow when I dropped my folder I lost some of my <laughs> notes so, <laughs> okay, um, so but I can I believe we're at about 1.2 total okay. um, but I can get you the numbers as well as Councillor Wilkinson's question about the tinker fund 
Okay. And just one more question um, about cash, the ARPA fund. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't need the answer right now, but maybe next time when we start talking about this when the budget comes out is what's our balance with the ARPA funds yeah. as well. Yeah, we'll look at that as part of our capital improvement plan and what our plans are as we roll out. Okay, yep. great. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else? Okay. We move on to the actual order. Council Paper 12,268, an order to appropriate funds in the amount of $1,953,766 from certified free cash to the stabilization account, as well as miscellaneous deficit accounts, which the mayor has gone over. And I will actually read that order. Um, that a sum of $1,953,766 dollars B and is hereby appropriated from free cash to airport grant two hundred thousand skating rink two hundred fifty five thousand nine one one grant three hundred eighty thousand two hundred forty dollars sale of cemetery lots eighty nine thousand eight hundred eighty one municipal tech fund forty four thousand five hundred stabilization nine hundred eighty four thousand one hundred forty five a motion to adopt would be in order. So moved. Second. Councilor Wilkinson, Councilor Leskowitz. Any more discussion on this? This is a roll call vote, and I think we need a two thirds majority. So let's just give it one anyway. All right. Bona? Yes. Harpin? Yes. Obasahan? Yes. Aleskowitz? Yes. Sapienza? Yes. Shade? Yes. Wilkinson? Yes. Wagner? Yes. Eight yeas, motion carries. <coughs> Council pay, oh, let's move on to the taxi license. Application for a license to drive a taxi from William Wheeler Jr. of RJ's Taxi. Motion to approve. Second. Councilor Oleskowitz, Councilor Wilkinson. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions, motion carries. Um, Secondhand dealer application from Berkshire Emporium and Antiques for property located at 57, 59, 63, and 65 Main Street and 7 Holden Street, North Adams, Mass. Move to approve. Second. Councilor Wilkinson, I'm sorry, yes, Councilor Wilkinson, Councilor Sapienza. Um, move to approve. You want to abstain now? I'll abstain. Yes, Council Bonas abstained. Right. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Council Bonas. Seven yeas, motion carries. <coughs> okay, open forum. This is an opportunity for the public to speak to the council for two minutes on issues of municipal significance. So please come to the mic, use your voice so people can hear you at home. Give your name and address for the record, please. You have two minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Robert Cardamino, 173 Swindon Street. Do any of the counselors know what's in this document as far as utility poles go? Do you even know if you had an ordinance regarding utilities? And yet, has anybody ever seen this? I doubt it. And yet, out of ignorance, you voted yes and you don't even know what's in here. You have failed the people of North Adams that have utility poles on their land. You know, and uh, it's required that Tim Lascarbo go and inspect them poles before they're put up and where they're put up 
and even after. Inspect them again and get paid both times. So how can you just sit there and be so ignorant to something like this? You know, and especially when you were warned ahead of time. I told you about this ordinance, but you choose to be, go along to get along. You know, when this has got to change, and it may change this coming election. Thank you for nothing. I'm Andrew Pitch, I live at 20 East Quincy Street. I'm here to bring this up a notch and uh, invite you all to a party. Um, and thank the mayor for coming to a party already. This is one of the best parties in the town and it happens every single month. It's First Fridays, um, which would not happen without the support of the city. And I wanted to mention kind of what it is. It's not just a party. First Fridays North Adams is made up of key individuals in our community who try to unite the businesses together, create a basic structure for our community so we can have some performances and bring more people downtown and create a more beautiful, vibrant, and connected North Adams, downtown North Adams, that residents can be proud of and that visitors want to visit so that tourists come downtown too. So that's the whole purpose of it. Um, it really is also one of the best parties in town this last Friday, in spite of the rain, once the rain cleared, we had 15 different events going on. And so you can just kind of party crawl your way down Main Street and down Eagle Street and Holden Street and Marshall Street, and it's a heck of a time. And so I wanted to tell you folks about it and tell anybody who is listening about it too. I have seen some comments on you know, North Adams Facebook chat like, downtown is dead. And folks, if you had written that, you're just wrong. I, at least on first Fridays, I can guarantee you were wrong. So please consider coming down. And Mayor Maxey, thank you for coming down the other night for supporting this initiative. Thank you. Hi, Josh Valliers, 23 Lyman Street. Um, I know that there's a um, uh, city clerk search committee meeting tomorrow. Um, I just wasn't sure if there was any um, updates on this uh, on the search process. Um, and during councilors' concerns, if somebody wants to bring that up, that'd be great. Thank you. Anyone else? Mayor's updates. I got a little nervous that Andrew was going to talk about my dance moves. So it was a fun first Friday. Um, just a couple of uh, quick things about the budget. Um, I am hoping to introduce a draft budget to all of you on May 23rd. I will email you out the dates, but if you wanted to just jot down some notes, I'm pre-planning for Finance Committee. Um, Tuesday, May 30th, Tuesday, June 6th, Wednesday, June 7th, Thursday, June 8th, and Tuesday, June 13th, my hope is to present a final budget. Um, so I hope that all the counselors can come out and participate in those those meetings. Um, but as time evolves, we'll talk about all the details at the next meeting. Um, I'm sure you all have read um, that um, the MCLA homeless shelter has um, ended, that the dialogue has ended between MCLA and the state. Um, so thank you for all the community members who spoke up and sent emails and sent letters. We appreciate all your support on that. Um, the Brown Street Bridge is still um, go undergoing some design and feasibility, um, so we hope possibly in the next 45 days to have a solid update on that. Um, for the YMCA, we are hoping to plan a community meeting within the next week or two. Um, we have secured an uh, engineer to help us with that project. Um, we are hopeful we could get that underway very soon. However, we have to go through uh, a bid process. Um, but the design process has been kicked off, um, and we hope to have a res resolution and a plan in the upcoming weeks. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Committee reports and minutes. I think we've had updates from two or three committees. Councilor Shade. Yes. Um, an update, the IDEA Commission will be meeting tomorrow, um, and we are in the next steps of our training program that we're going to be putting together. So it's going to be very interesting and very fun, and we're looking forward to that. Um, along with counselor updates, uh, I just had one thing through the, through the chair to the mayor. Um, very supportive of First Fridays. It's a wonderful program. In the past, when they closed North Church Street for two-way traffic for Eagle Street, there's always been notices. There wasn't a notice last week for residents, um, so that is something I wanted to bring up as somebody who lives on that street. Yeah. 
normally we are notified well in advance, but there was no kind of notification that Eagle Street was closing. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Anyone else? Liaison updates and counselors' concerns. Councilor Bonner. Um, Ed Marino wanted me to pass on that May 20th at 9 a.m. Uh, members of the public are welcome and invited to come down to the Southview Cemetery to place flags on the veterans' grave sites. Um, they do have a number of volunteer groups, but again, the more that go down, the faster it, it uh, moves along. So again, that's May 20th, 9 a.m. Um, and park behind, I guess <coughs> it's behind the rink where they meet. Look for, look for the members with the red shirts. Um, another note you may want to mark in your calendar, June 17th um, will be the 100th anniversary of the Elk on the Trail. There will be a big ceremony up at the trail and then it will end at the North Adams Elks Lodge on Eagle Street. Potentially they're expecting about 200 visitors from across the state from various Elks that will be attending. So it may be nice to have uh, more local members up there to meet and greet or at least come to the lodge afterwards. And then, um, and that's it for now. Thank you. Anyone else? Mayor, I just have a quick question. Um, when are we, the uh, CNC plan is part of our finance committee process, but have we gotten any, where are we on the um, revision slash recommendation? From For the, the compensation plan? Yeah, compensation. Part, it will be part of the budget process. I can honestly say I am not happy with the d level of detail or lack thereof detail that we received from the Collins Center. Um, I'm happy, um, I got one more read of it, but I'm happy to share that through the budget process. And um, we're in interpreting some of the results and gauging how that impacts our comp plan. Um, it, it didn't perform the way I had hoped it did in, in level of detail. Now, did they provide comps? I mean, did they tell you who they were comping or no? Yes, yeah, so we had a selected pool okay. um, and they gave us a range, right. but didn't, it gave us a range in hourly value, so you have to calculate what the salary is. And um, that's too bad. It wasn't as informative as I had hoped. I agree. The right. um, capital plan is moving along nicely, though, the capital improvement plan. Will we have that as part of an updated one, at least as part of the final? You will have an updated plan from me. Yeah. Um, whether we'll be able to roll some of their suggestions into this one, um, I'm not quite sure about. Okay. Thank you for that update. You're welcome. Um, no correspondence? Anything else? Motion to adjourn would be in order. Motion to adjourn. Second. Councilor Sapienza and Councilor Bosch. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here. <laughs>